Good morning, y'all. Happy Friday. Say hi. Say good morning. Oh, let me roll her window down for her. There we go. Good morning, y'all. Happy Friday. So I'm sitting in line at Starbucks. I remember last vlog, I got a Starbucks while I was in Auburn with Chic Soul. And y'all, I forget how good those were. Typically, I would go to Yellowhammer Coffee. We know this. It's a favorite. It's a local coffee spot. Um, but the truck is not near my house today. It's a food It's a food truck, like a coffee truck, and it's not there today. So I figured we would take a little bit of a ride and go to Starbucks. I text Brian to see if he wanted a coffee, but I haven't heard back from him. So I'm assuming he's in his meeting. They typically do meetings every day at this time. I worked out this morning. Another week done. Today is actually five months to the day of when we started. We started February 2nd. Today is July 2nd, so I feel good. I can do more of the workouts. Like, we don't really do modified versions. I don't think we do anyways unless, uh, like, she's just not telling me. But uh, we do, like, regular burpees and jump squats. Like, we do all the regular things. So I'm proud of myself for that. Um, I feel better. I don't get as winded doing, like, normal daily activities and stuff like that. So... I'm very happy. Um, so I'm gonna order my drink. I'm gonna get cash, of course, a puppuccino. Are you excited? Huh? I know you are. Hey, can I do a venti ice caramel macchiato, please, with three extra pumps of vanilla? Okay, and I am out of caramel dizzle, so I can be okay? Yeah, that's fine. Yes, ma'am. Um, yeah. And then can I also do a puppuccino? Thank you. Hold on, let's park. Okay. Here we go. I'm very brave doing this. Oh, so close to me. Okay. All right. All right. The sides of it, ma'am, right there. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. It's all over my shorts. Where'd you put the cup? I don't have a napkin. Where's the cup? You can't. Okay. All right, y'all. I'm going to go home, take a shower, wash my hands, and we'll see you later. All right, y'all. It's not much later. It's like 12 o'clock. I have showered. I sat here for a very long time and did work on the computer, I felt like. Um, so I've showered, skincare. I'm going to straighten my hair today. I haven't done that yet with short hair, so I'll show you what it looks like. But why we are here. I got a couple of packages in, so I thought that we could do a fun little unboxing and try on. So Stitch Fix had, okay, remember a couple of videos ago, I tried a pair of jeans and a top and I ended up sending it back. So I still had some credits on my account and I spotted this dress. So I know it's like a linen blend. Okay, here we go. How cute. So it's a longer tiered, I'm assuming it's like a midi length dress. The brand is Wisp. W-I-S-P, woman, I got it in a size 3X. You can select your sizes too, which I didn't know the very first time I ordered, but I do know you can, as long as it's available, you can switch it up. So it's really pretty with a little bit of a shimmer gold in there. So let's put this on. Okay, <laughs> I feel like this is the best way for y'all to see it. All right, fit I think is perfect. I'm glad, well, I mean, I guess I could have sized down to the 2X, but I kind of want it like this. Like, I don't want it snug or anything. So the buttons stop here, collar, the sleeves are a good length. I think it's supposed to start like right here though. Like that's a little bit low, anyway. I think I'm gonna keep it though, because it's it's easy, it's different, and I can do um, like white sneakers. You could do little heels. I need to watch this video back and like be sure that that's what I'm trying to do. What do we think? <laughs> okay. I don't I don't hate it. I'm not in love with it. Like the fit is a little bit 
weird, but it's very comfortable. I'll move you back here for this one. So this is a package from Wendy Drew Boutique. So I ordered a while back that Garth Brooks t-shirt that I wear all the time. I mean, I probably wear it once a week. It's washed really, really nice. It didn't shrink. Um, it's just a nice, like, not really oversized, but it's more of like a boxy, longer tee. So it's perfect for me to wear with um, like bike shorts and stuff. So I ordered a couple of other ones. So they have a Tim McGraw, Nirvana, George Strait. They're like old concert tees, but they're new. So they're not like actually from 1997 or 1994. You know what I mean? Oh, these are soft. Okay. I'm very excited for these. So I got them in a size 3XL, just like the Garth Brooks one. We have Nirvana. Yes. This, you can't even feel this. It feels like the graphic on it feels just like the rest of the shirt. I did reach out ahead of time because I wanted to make sure the fit was how the Garth Brooks tee is. And they said that it, these are a little bit more fitted. So they're not exactly that like boxy. This is Tim McGraw that like boxy tee as the other one, but they look pretty good to me. So I'm gonna try both of these on. I'm just gonna put my black shorts back on. This is the Nirvana tee. I feel like I can probably just, you know, like stretch it out a little bit if I wanted to. Length is good. Okay, I'm happy. Again, these are like super soft. They are definitely, or this one anyways, I haven't tried the other one on yet, a little bit more fitted versus boxy down here. But I also think that I could probably just, yeah, see, like loosen it up a little bit. Okay, I'm very happy with this. Yeah, I'm very happy. These, I just knew that I, like I mentioned, I wore that Garth Brooks one. I wear it all the time. So for me, it was worth the money to buy a couple more because I know I'm going to wear them. So this one, initial fit is the same as the Nirvana one. But again, I think because it's a soft material, I can probably, yeah, there we go. Just like loosen it up a bit. <sighs> yeah, I'm very happy with these. I have a discount code too with Wendy Drew Boutique. I don't make any money off of it. It's just for y'all to save money. I use it when I shop, it's Terran 20. Um, so you can save some money. This one again, super soft here. Like you can't even feel the graphic on the t-shirt. It's like bleach spotted. The sleeves on this one do seem a little bit longer. Anyway, okay, I'm very happy. I'm excited, I'm very happy with these. Let me know what you think about the dress. Um, I, like I said, I need to watch this video back and see if it's, see what I really think of it because I don't want it snug, so I think a size smaller wouldn't really work for my vision of what I want. So I'm gonna sit here again, do a little bit of work, and then I'll see you um, a little bit later today once my hair is straight. Okay, this is my first reaction to it straight as well. Okay, I'm not upset about it. Don't look at all that, like just it's not happening or any of that. I need to, oh, that piece is fine. Okay, I kind of like it. Yeah, all right. I just have such thick hair that I had to do it in like 17 million sections. But I kind of love it. Happy Saturday, y'all. So I didn't start the vlog super early this morning because I was like, you know what? I'm going to relax today. I'm just going to chill. And then I'm cleaning out my closet. So I figured that I would show you what it looks like now. I, um, okay, let me turn you around and explain a little bit. So in my closet in my bathroom, I had 34 pairs of jeans. So I've gone through and these are the jeans that I don't want. These are not jeans. <laughs> these are the jeans um, that I'm keeping down here. And I've categorized them. So we have like flare jeans, straight leg jeans, boyfriend, girlfriend cut jeans, and then other. And then on top are some shoes because I'm cleaning. I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, um, okay. So here's what it looks like so far. Um, a shoe rack. I'm pulling it out. This little thing holds workout gear, nipple covers, that sort of thing. 
it's out. I want to get a basket to put my handbags in because right now it's in this like old Michael Kors bag. So I'm going to put up a picture so that you can see what the closet looked like before. Now at this point, I'd already taken all of the jeans out. They were down there under the tops. So then I remembered that I bought a bunch of these like months ago. I have three packs. They're shower curtain hangers and I remember hooks. That's what they call them. So do y'all remember it was like super popular. You would hang your jeans long ways with these. So I think that's what I'm going to do. That was the plan way back when. So I think that's what we're going to do. Um, this little shoe thingy brought, we bought a couple of these from like Home Depot Lowe's or something. And so Brian has one in his closet too, because we didn't have any space for our shoes. And then this is like an old, uh, this kind of thing. So we, I put it together and it just holds shoes. So it gave me a little bit more space, but honestly, I don't need all these shoes. Like I don't wear hardly any of them. So I'm going to, we're going to do something and get rid of a bunch of them, but I can take like this part off and just have the lower part and it will fit down below right there where I want it to go. So I'm pulling it out so that I can vacuum. What is that down there? Oh, it's a little strap for a wristlet. Yeah, I want to vacuum this before I do anything else. So here's what we have so far. These are all the jeans that I'm keeping. I don't have that many in the other closet. So they're more just like, I call them model jeans, jeans that I pull like a, a white pair, dark pair, black pair, just to show you with different tops and stuff. So here we go. These are items that don't have like belt loops to hang like that. I put all of my like extra bras here, my robe here. This is <laughs> Do you want to see this? This is the bra I wear all the time. I get a lot of questions about my favorite bra. It's the Cacique Lightly Lined T-shirt bra. Mine has some like self-tanner stain on it. I wear 40 Double D. I feel like they're pretty true to size. And then this one is my Skims Triangle Bralette. Love that one. A couple of belts. Okay. I kind of like it now the more that I look at it. These are just boots, they'll stay there. All right, so I'm gonna go through all these tops. I don't wear more than half of them. And then we'll start to put things, the shoes and stuff back in. Okay, I think I'm done in this closet. It's like 12 o'clock, so it's been a while of me fig trying to figure out how to get everything situated in here how I want. So the basket with my like handbags and stuff is not gonna fit. Um, so I may see if I can make space for that in the other closet. Okay, let me show you. It's a small closet. Like, I feel like I'm limited on space. Okay, so this stayed here. I moved the shoe rack here. I got rid of a ton that don't, I don't wear anymore. Laundry basket. Jeans, we know. I had to move, like, the longer flare ones over so that would work. All these, again, are staying. I ended up hanging my sweatshirts and stuff. I don't have enough space in drawers to store them. And then I know it looks like a lot still, but I got rid of so many tops. So I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy with how it looks. This most likely will end up like here because, you know, I use it all the time. So this needed to be done for years and years. That up there, that's a Halloween costume. I had an iPad at one point, and it was there, luggage cubes, and then an old laptop. So that is just another story I need to just toss one day, but I'm very happy. Lunch break over. I went and got me, I haven't had one of those cool, what is it, cool wrap or something like that from Chick-fil-A in so long. So that's what I went and got for lunch. Now it's time to tackle this closet. This is this is the bad one. So this one is just messy because I typically pull things for videos and then just put it all back in here. Like remember this super cute uh, chic soul stuff? Like it's just, you know, like it just hangs here. It lives here. 
So a lot of these things I need to put back in my closet, but also I want to go through and find some really cute summer dresses and put those in the other closet so that I see them and that I'll pull them to wear them. This is shorts that I guess I don't need because I don't remember the last time I looked here. All right, we have nine bags total. This one kind of ripped a little bit, so I just like tucked it in another one. So nine bags total. I'm headed to donate. I do have a bunch of other stuff that I'm gonna go through that looked like it was in better condition um, to see if I can sell it. But for now, I need to just get rid of this. Now I'm sitting outside of at home. Well, I just pulled up. Um, I'm gonna go in and see if I can find a basket. We've talked about that, a basket for my handbags. I still don't know where I'm putting them. Cause I didn't really clear a whole lot of space. You know what I mean? Um, and then I want to see if I can find a big tote to store all the items in that I think I can sell. I still want to go through them because I want them. I want to make sure they look legit before I sell them to someone else. Um, but I won't get a chance to go through them all tonight and I need somewhere to put them. And so I figured if I could get a big tote just to store them in for a couple days, we can always use the tote um for something else so let's go in i'm not really dressed to be out and about you know what i'm saying like this t-shirt and shorts i'm sure they have tons of dog hair on them and here we are just making the rounds first of all disregard the uh, concert that's happening in here but this is actually really cute if i just got one big one that close oh that must be the back side of it. That closes over. I kind of love that. $49.99 for the big one. Because I'm I'm pretty sure they don't come. Yeah, they don't come as a set. Okay, that's good to consider. I was thinking something more like this. Um, that was a little bit more firm, which that one was too, but you know what I mean, like open at the top. But I don't love the blue. Okay, that's kind of cute. Not exact what I'm looking for. That's honestly really what I want, just not blue. Okay, this one's not bad. That's not bad at all. It's a little bit tall. Okay, here we go. This, not the little one inside. Let me, let me fix it up and show you. Here we go. It's $31.99. Yeah, that's super cute exactly what I was thinking so we'll take that let's see if I can find a big tote I feel like they'll be in this area this is what I want maybe that big one is what $17.99 this one is $13.99 but I don't think it's gonna be big enough um, and they have those with wheels on them that's nice but yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with this one. Oh, it has wheels too. Okay. Yeah, that should be plenty. And like I mentioned, we can use it. Are you watching me struggle? <laughs> uh, we can use it for other things. Okay, I need a lid. Do we just get the regular? Classic lid. Okay. Yeah, I think this will work perfect. I'm back home. <laughs> so this is the other closet. It has been obviously gone through because I just dropped bags off. So I kept denim jackets, like nicer blazers, that super cute hot pink one. And this is mainly like the nicer rompers and dresses. Granted, here's a couple that are like summery everyday wear. I'm out of breath because I'm holding a bunch of clothes because I'm going to hang them here. It's for a video on Monday, but I wanted you to see it before I hung the clothes there. So I think I'm gonna put the basket there on top of that tote. I know it's a tote, but that one's not big enough. Good morning, y'all. Happy Monday. It's like 11 o'clock. So I guess it's like late morning. I've been up since probably 8.30. We're gonna go with, that feels about right. Um, so I woke up, made breakfast. I did some work on the computer and I just got out of the shower. So I'm like, dragging my heels because I haven't seen my mom in it's been a while since I've seen her so I figured maybe we could hang out today but she's not answering her phone 
So like typically I would have already like eaten breakfast, showered, gotten ready and been like in the filming process at this point. Um, I'm just doing a little bit of like dry shampoo. I'm also, <coughs> I breathed that in. I'm using you as a mirror. Uh, my roots are already growing out. Y'all, I'm telling you. If you've ever wanted to try that collagen stuff. I know I say it every time. I feel like they should like sponsor me at this point. I buy it myself. Like they don't know I exist. Um, okay, anyways. So I haven't seen her in a while. And so I thought today could be a good day for us to just hang out. She's redoing her um, living room. And so she's on the hunt for a couple of just things to add like uh, wall decor and stuff like that. She got some big rugs. Um, so I thought that we could go to lunch, go shopping, try to find her these last few things that she wants, but she's not answering her phone. So like, I don't want to sit here and put on makeup and get ready and then she calls me because I would rather hang out with her than like, I just clamped my hair in that, than, um, like do videos today. I'm caught up enough to where I can afford a, a day to do that. So, um, how was your 4th of July? Our neighbors did phenomenal with the fireworks. Not like we didn't watch them phenomenal, like as in they were good, but they stopped at like 930. So I was very happy with that. I did hear a rogue firework this morning, but... Um, I don't mind them, but I have pets. Like, Layla sleeps through it 100%. It's Cash that doesn't really... Obviously, most dogs don't like fireworks, so she's a, it's a little bit harder on her. So, I'm just slowly doing things here and there, hoping that she calls me and we can go do something. I also want to... <laughs> not rearrange this room that I film in because I love the setup now because I sit here and do my makeup in front of a window so I have all that natural light and stuff but as far as like filming I film in front of a wall with um, box lights and a ring light so it's all artificial light and it sort of like distorts I feel like what I look in real life um like it makes my like it washes out my skin so I always have to go in and like add a little bit of color back into my skin and then I feel like I can't ever get it exact and then also it makes my hair almost like a honey yellow color so I'm thinking what sparked this was my last vlog when I was getting ready in the hotel sitting on the floor and the light was just so good so what I'm thinking is I might start filming like this way in front of the window like open the blinds when it's a good sunny day and get all of that natural light because I feel like it's just more realistic and it's less work for me, you know, editing and stuff. Does this matter to you? Probably not. Okay, I've been talking for four minutes and literally said nothing. So I'll let you know what I end up doing. I'm gonna sit here and hang out for a little bit longer and see if she calls me. <laughs> Maybe I'll just keep calling her. I've called her twice already, like back to back. So I feel like I should probably let her sleep. Update, I woke her up. <laughs> it's like 11.35. It was probably like five minutes ago that I talked to her. She ain't trying to do nothing right now. So this pool is looking real good today. That might be what we do. I did lay out some uh, ground beef to do something with for dinner. So next time I see you, we'll be for sure at dinner. Good morning, y'all. Happy Wednesday. Um, okay, so I didn't see you Monday night. Brian cooked dinner. I didn't cook dinner, so I didn't film anything. Um, it kind of threw me off a little bit because usually I cook and film and I, I didn't cook. So, um, and then Tuesday he was off work. So, um, I filmed a bunch, that sort of thing. I'm a little bit scatterbrained because it's like, not even scatterbrained is the word, but it's early. I woke up at like six, did skincare, all of that fun stuff. Um, I have a shoot with Bella Rose today. We're shooting at a parking garage. So I'm kind of excited. I think I'm gonna take, 
an outfit like and get my own pictures of something else while I'm there because we don't have parking garages like near me we have them like downtown okay don't get me wrong but not like near my house it's a bit of a trek to get to one so I'm gonna take a cute outfit and after we're done shooting take some pictures myself so you'll probably see that tomorrow today the day that you're watching this on Instagram also yesterday I had to take cash to the vet it wasn't like an emergency visit but they did squeeze me in yesterday she had some issues with her back end filling up when we thought they were supposed to be expressing them. And the place we were taking her had not been doing that. So she had some issues, um, but she's okay. She got um, a round of antibiotics that we have to figure out a way to make her take because she's not food mo motivated whatsoever. Um, so I'm a little bit like, not really annoyed is the word, but I knew something wasn't right. And I called the place that we take her to double check and I questioned if they'd actually been doing it and they said yes. And then come to find out a month and a half later, because we'd taken her twice since that they had. Anyway, it's, it is what it is. We took her to the vet, a different place and it's being handled. So when I do take her to get groomed again, they'll hear about it. How you feel this morning? She seemed like she didn't feel good last night. Like she just seemed sad. I'm sure hers didn't feel good. Okay. So I'm trying to be quiet because Brian's sleeping. I'm gonna make me a little bit of breakfast, get ready, and then I'll probably see you like once the shoot is over and I'll show you like where we're shooting and all of that fun stuff. I have a really cute outfit. My Walmart video that just went live this week. I, those navy shorts with the coral top was so, oh, I'm trying to get napkins with one hand, <laughs> was so cute. Um, so I may do that outfit or I may do the blue and white striped with the navy shorts and just like white sneakers. Um, I feel like that's more of a parking garage vibe, right? Versus a fancy dress. I don't know. I'll let you know. We'll decide together. We won't decide together. We'll, I'll decide. <laughs> and then I'll see you in like a split second. For you, it'll be a split second. For me, it'll be like eight hours. Hello. It's way later in the day. So we just finished shooting. I'll get out and show you in a second uh, where we're shooting. But it started pouring down rain just as I was wrapping up. A couple of the other models still have a few things. But luckily, we're in a parking garage, like under things. So as long as they stay away from the, you know, outsides, they'll be okay. But that humidity, I, there's no way I can take a picture. Even though I'm wearing this really cute outfit. Like I told you, uh, the one from Walmart. There's no way. I have reapplied makeup so many times and recurled my hair and hairsprayed. And it's just... I have naturally frizzy hair, so in the humidity, it just thrives. Um, so I will show you where we're shooting. I feel like this morning, I was a bit of like scatterbrain, like hot mess trying to talk to you. So I apologize for that. It was early. I'm still a little bit upset, the whole cash uh, situation, but anyway, shoot was good. So <laughs> that's the guy that um, works in the parking garage he rides through. Anyway. Let me show you where we're shooting. I won't get too close. Well, it's not even really rain in here. I know you can hear it. It's more so um, in that area. So we're in Gulfport Island View. I guess the W is missing. Um, but yeah, here's what it looks like. And then we shot like three or four levels up near the top. I did take a few pictures in a couple of like Bella Rose outfits that were really cute before the rain, before my hair went frizzy and all of that stuff so at least I'll have some cute like different stuff to post but for now I'm gonna head home I'm hungry I'm gonna grab me something to eat and um should I just end the vlog here I feel like we didn't really do that much this week but you know sometimes that's just how it is I have another shoot on Monday with Cotton Bay so I'm very excited about that um, and then Brian and I are going to do a couple things. My birthday's this month. I don't even think I said that yet. My birthday is July 21st. So, um, we're planning. So I got Brian 
a night at the casino and dinner at this really nice restaurant for our anniversary. So he's cashing in and we're gonna go later this month and do that. And then my birthday's not long after that. We're gonna do just like a family thing at the pool. That's what I like to do the most. So I'm excited about that. So that's all coming this month. Uh, so we're gonna wrap this vlog up here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. I know I said this video was done. I just ate lunch. <laughs> There's like no makeup around my mouth, but I got a couple of packages. And so I felt like we could just open them. One of them is a dress from Target, I'm pretty sure. We'll do the dress next because I have to change clothes for that one. But this company called Good Molecules asked if they could send me some stuff. I know they're sold in Ulta or on Ulta's website now. They say they're coming to store soon. This is not sponsored. I'm not getting paid. They just said, hey, we think that you would love our products. Can we send you some? So they asked me what my skin type was. And I said, dry, sensitive, that sort of thing. So I have no idea what's in here, but I'm so excited. Okay, so we have Rosewater Daily Cleansing Oil, cleansing gel, excuse me. We have niacinamide, niacinamide, brightening toner. How cute is the packaging, by the way? Oh, and then it's got the ingredient list on the side. Oh, that's helpful. It tells you on the side. It says rose water is high in antioxidants and helps maintain a bright skin tone. Cause listen, sometimes like a bunch of different products, you just get confused. Uh, we have squaline, squalene, squalane oil. Apply a few drops of skin in the morning and night. Let absorb for 30 seconds, a.m. and p.m. And then lastly, we have the Hyaluronic Acid Serum, formulated to draw moisture into the skin for deeper hydration. Never tested on animals. I remember that was something, because I do get quite a few emails uh, from companies wanting me to try different skincare things. And honestly, like I have such weird skin that I always decline because I know what my skin likes and needs and what it does and that sort of thing. But I was just reading on this, on, on their website about everything. And it seems that they do a really good job of helping super dry skin to be hydrated. Also like never tested on animals, cruelty free, all that stuff is always, always, always a win. So, We'll try this throughout the next few vlogs. pH is 5.5. See, I need to read about all of it. A gentle cleanser to balance and brighten the skin. So we'll try it throughout the vlogs, but I'm excited for that. Okay, so now let me close that up so I can take a cute picture because those colors are so fun. Okay, so in my Target video, I tried on a, what was the brand? Universal Thread? Maybe it was a brand extra large orange striped smocked dress. I'll put a picture here or a video or something. It was a little bit snug for my liking, um, but it was really, really cute. So then one of y'all told me that they have this print online. And so I grabbed it. It is, oh, a new day in a size extra, extra large. They had that one in stock online, but look at this color and the print. So it's smocked in the front, has this really pretty tie circle in the back. I mean, it's got pockets. See, how cute is this? Okay, so I wanna put this on. Okay, here we go. I'm trying to like angle you so that you can see it. Okay, it's a little bit, I think I need to loosen that in the back, like it's a little bit High, I feel like high is not the word I'm looking for. Like if I loosened it, then I would have a little bit more space here. But, so it's got the smocked detail here, the pockets, the length is really nice. Do we like this one? I'll link my Target video uh, down below so that you can watch it and see the other one in action. But this is just, let me, you know what, while we're here, let's just do it because I wanna see what it's gonna look like. Maybe when it's not so, I don't know what she's eating, hang on. I need to like steam the, these where they'll like lay down properly. 
but it's a super cute summer dress with little sandals or even white sneakers. Okay, yeah. The color and the pattern, like the print on it is adorable. All right, so I'm really gonna end this video here. I just wanted to show you these couple things. I'm so excited to try this skincare that I may even like go ahead and start next week's vlog today or tonight so that I can try some of that and give you like a full week's worth, week longer than a week's worth of details. Um, so I'm full, like I said, I just ate lunch. So thanks for watching again. Um, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.